Broward's chief judge wants the county commission to determine whether the county is named after a racist whose statue does not belong in a prominent position in the courthouse in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Napoleon Bonaparte Broward served as governor from 1905 to 1908. He once called for the United States to relocate black people to a new homeland where they would no longer have to interact with the children of those who enslaved them a generation earlier. The white people, he said, have no time to make excuses for the shortcomings of the Negro. His name is on road signs, public libraries, the courthouse, public buildings. It's impossible to escape, and the publication of that speech makes his legacy impossible to ignore. Broward Mayor Barbara Sharif said she's only begun to look at the issue, but she's open to moving the statue. She's even open to debate about changing the name of the county, if that's what voters want. Opponents of moving the statue say it's another attempt by liberals to erase the country's history. Most people who pass the statue don't know who he is, they say, and wouldn't be angry about his 110-year-old views unless someone dug them up. There's no timetable or deadline for the county commission to decide the fate of the statue or the name of Broward County. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Rafael Olmeda.